All right, hello, <laughs> my fellow Division 2 agents, my name is Kevin, I'm your Kuya Keeps, uh, welcome to another Division 2 video. Alright, so uh, guys, this is going to be uh, hopefully a quick discussion about the new or the first um, global ev event for uh, Season uh, 2, uh, Keener's Legacy, Hollywood. Um, so uh, this is going to be a uh, combination of Day 1 and Day 2 you know, tips when uh, finishing uh, the uh, global event or you know each uh, day all right so uh, to get things started day one um, damage uh, shielded hostiles uh, with uh, thrown grenade explosions or EMPs um, this is actually by far the uh, not really the hardest but uh, the annoying part of the, the, the day one because you need to throw a grenade uh, to the hostile or the shielded hostile again shielded hostiles uh, are um, not the ones who are carrying shields okay when you enable uh, the Hollywood uh, global events all of the hostiles in the map would have like a shield like a golden yellow uh, shield uh, those are shielded hostiles okay so you need to throw a grenade um, I believe that all grenades uh, for each uh, specialization will work so uh, the best uh, grenade uh, that can uh, maximize you know uh, area you know the wider area would be the flashbang so if you are using the uh, sharpshooter um, specialization then the flashbang should get you maybe four or five um, you know hostiles in one throw okay um, again it needs to be thrown uh, other skills won't work even though you try to throw that skill doesn't work it has to be a grenade okay the next challenge uh, hit uh, shielded hostiles with your specialization weapon best one that uh, I would recommend would be the uh, demolitionist the your grenade launcher um, very easy uh, can hit multiple enemies at the same time another option would be the uh, rocket launcher for the technician the thing that what makes this uh, challenge uh, is very uh, very easy is because the ammo is not really a problem. A lot of drops when you kill an, uh, you know, a hostile uh, using the uh, specialization weapon. Right? The third challenge, uh, uh, hit uh, shielded hostiles with explosive skills. A lot of um, explosive skills. Um, the best one would be the cluster seeker. Uh, very easy. Um, should be able to you know, get this done uh, faster. And um, sticky sticky bomb, explosive sticky bomb should be another be uh, one of the options you can use. You can use uh, the other clusters, but um, or the other seeker mines. I'm sorry, but the cluster seeker is actually by far the best uh, for this uh, challenge. Melee attack uh, shielded hostiles again. Melee, okay. You don't need to kill the uh, the. Uh, the hostile okay so you don't need to use sweet dreams on this challenge okay just run through an uh, uh, a uh, hostile and then just you know, keep you know hitting them or melee hit them with your primary weapon as long as not the sweet dreams you should be okay um, again I would highly recommend when you do this uh, challenge or when you do the global event Hollywood lower down your map difficulty to either challenging or normal or, or hard or normal uh, it would really be uh, you know, depend on you uh, it would make it easier to finish roughly maybe two hours uh give or take if you're really uh you know focused on wrapping up the entire you know uh, challenge to be able to get it done okay um eliminate rikers has to be uh, in new york right riker area would be the financial district area and the uh, civic center those are rikers uh, riker areas and then last one would be a complete any mission on hard difficulty or above so i highly recommend you run a mission either the james dragov mission 
Wall Street or uh, Theo Parnell's mission in Civic Center. And then you should be able to finish uh, the last second, uh, the Eliminate Rikers, and then the last one uh, with ease. I don't know if that's... I haven't tried it because I just run around in the, the map and then was able to like, eliminate 50, you know, by, by running uh, it for the entire, like, two hours. And then uh, I did the main mission uh, in DC uh, with some friends. So, uh, yeah, able to finish that in day one. For day two, um, again, almost the same as day one. Uh, should get you uh, to at least two hours to finish this. Um, again, lower your difficulty, map difficulty settings. Uh, if you're in solo, if you want to do this in heroic, then you know by all means go for it. Respect that. <laughs> but uh, if you're solo, um, running solo, so I would recommend uh, lower it down. Okay, challenging. Um, our difficulty should be easier. Okay, so uh, for day two, the first one is eliminate uh, shielded hostiles. Plain and simple, very easy. Second challenge is eliminate hostiles after lowering the shields. One thing I can, uh, uh, a tip that I can uh, give you guys is to use, or if you have uh, the um, explosive uh, delivery uh, talent, um, I will discuss that after we run all these discussions. Uh, it's actually very uh, important because when you throw your skill, as say, for example, you have a cluster seeker, okay? You throw that, and then because the that explosive delivery um, will explode if you throw any skill, okay? And then will then um, damage any nearby uh, hostiles or NPCs or ads uh, in in that area. So once that uh, explosion hits it will then lower down the shields and then the cluster uh, seeker will then finish off the uh, the hostile or the NPCs and that should pretty much get this you know challenge done uh, really fast okay um, third one eliminate hostiles using a melee attack so this you would then need to use the sweet dream okay so um, uh, a tip would be is when you know running around the map um, if you come across a patrol, kill, you know, mol just leave one or two uh, of the, uh, you know, the uh, hostiles and then you can melee the rest. Okay. I'm not, uh, yeah. Melee them. No, the one that's left. You can kill uh, most patrol would be around four or five. Um, you can eliminate, you know, three or maybe four. And then the, one, the ones that left, you can uh, wrap it up with a melee attack. Right. Um, Last one would, um, no, not last one. The fourth one would be burn shielded hostiles. This I would recommend using the uh, fire starter and the uh, um, sticky bomb, explosive sticky bomb uh, that has, you know, the burn um, status effect. Uh, one of the reasons uh, why you should lower down your difficulty settings because it makes the burn easier to uh, kill the enemies. And if you're using a, uh, if you have, okay. A static I'm sorry Eclipse a protocol build paired with a vial mask this is actually very very easy should be able to wrap this up in you know less than uh, 30 minutes and limit eliminate elite uh, cleaners again yellow cleaners um, what I did was uh, since I have uh, two builds I'm using two builds here for day one and day two I'm using the sticky bomb so uh, when you lower down challenging or hard and if you have a skill build with high skill damage sticky um explosive sticky bomb should be able to one hit any uh, elite uh, npcs or hostiles or ads and the last one would be to complete any invaded missions i leave i left this uh, last because uh i'm waiting for some friends uh, to finish up uh, the uh invaded missions uh, for this week All right so uh, i'm gonna show you the build a quick uh run through of the build uh this is my uh basic you know eclipse protocol build fire starter to increase the burn duration weapons i used uh the pyromaniac uh, and this one is uh just a rifle um the uh, M uh mk47 resolute 
Uh, this actually has the perpetuation uh, talent. Headshot grants 50% status effect damage and duration for the next uh, status effect you apply. And then um, I'm using the uh, fire starter and the uh, sticky bomb for this uh, build uh, because of uh, the status effects that it has. So once you burn an enemy uh, and then kill it, and when the enemy dies, it then you know uh, spreads out to the rest of the enemy because of this uh, talent, backpack talent, amplifies. No, the uh, four piece, four piece uh, bonus, which is indirect transmission. Your uh, status effects now spread on kill to all enemies within 15 meters and refreshes 50% of duration. When you add the backpack talent, uh, that um, will also give you uh, a damage uh, for your status affected targets by 15%. So it amplifies the damage. So it uh, would be uh, faster if you lower down your map difficulty to either challenging or hard. Make it easier, faster to kill, and you can finish the challenge You know, uh, in less than an hour or maybe 30 minutes. The other one, I'm sorry, the other one... Uh, Build that I'm using is a hardware build. Um, I'm using the demolitionist uh, specialization. Normal um, P416 that has uh, in sync. Hitting an enemy uh, grants 15% uh, uh, skill damage for five seconds. And then my secondary would be uh, the sweet dreams. But this is actually what I use to melee, uh, you know, the hostiles or the enemies. So it's a four-piece hardwired uh, with China Light Industries and Wyvernware. So for the uh, one of the talent, uh, the talent that's actually very effective, what is uh, explosive delivery? Whenever you throw a skill, 1.5 seconds after landing, it creates an explosion damaging uh, enemies within five meters. So damage skills uh, with skill tier dealing 25 to 100 percent damage. Of a concussion grenade so um this is actually effective uh in lowering down the shield once that shield lowers down the cluster seeker would then uh eliminate the the npc or the ads right so um it would make that challenge easier if you have you know this talent on your on your chest piece so um just make sure when you throw the cluster uh seeker you can you know hit maybe two or three uh npcs at once and that should pretty much get you you know three uh points uh to that challenge right this is actually um or you can uh throw a grenade or any explosive um you know skills to lower down the shield and then um you know kill them or eliminate them that's another option but for me it's actually a better one because uh makes it easier for you to wrap up or finish uh, the uh the challenge okay so um again um the best uh, uh my recommended skills would be the uh, sticky bomb the explosive sticky bomb the uh because you know it applies or the burn sticky bomb sorry the burn sticky bomb the explosive one i'm using because of when uh, for eliminating those um elite cleaners and one hit them for the burn, it actually uh, comes uh, same way the fire starter. Really depends which one you like, but the fire starter uh, will help you with that as well. Especially if you're using the Eclipse protocol or any. If you have a burn, fo a burn focused uh, build, skill build, then yeah, you can probably can actually also use that. I'm just using the Eclipse protocol because of the uh, indirect transmission, uh, you know, bonus it has for the four piece uh, of that gear set. All right. So, um, hope you guys um, like uh, what you see. So, uh, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, guys. It really help the channel grow. Um, if you have some questions, you know, drop a comment below. I'll be more than happy to answer that. Um, again, these builds are just templates. It's not really, you know, um, the top tier build you can see. Uh, but if you want uh, me to post a skill builds um i'm sorry uh, build videos i'll be more than happy to do that again these are just templates you can you know uh um have your own you know combination or anything uh as long as uh you know you have the idea on maximizing this build uh so that you can use it uh, during the uh 
global event challenges okay all right so um again don't forget uh to uh comment down below if you have questions again my name is kevin i'm your queer keeps peace out be safe stay safe see you out there agents